shit what's going on guys so just got some new shit in i got a whole bunch of new shit in but it's all for the long term process of what's going on with the focus a couple changes that have been made since the last upload um i was planning on recording all that but i felt like it's already been out there so much that there wasn't no need but go through what we got right here and what's to come within at least the next um week or two um thanksgiving already passed so happy thanksgiving uh happy thanksgiving well or if you don't celebrate it happy holidays christmas is coming up um merry christmas if you celebrate it if you don't happy holidays um but right here my wing came in so this is the, the rs style wing and i know i have an st it has the front bumper back bumper i was contemplating on putting this wing on versus a rally sport wing but the only reason why i'm doing this is so that i don't have to drill into my hatch so with the rally sport wing i was looking at i would need to drill into this part i ain't trying to do all that it's going to be a direct take off put on oem fitment but i have an idea so that i don't get talk shit about car recording whatever but what i am going to do is see how it's rs but it's kind of it's like engraved in there if you know then you know um take it over to my boy's garage today um where him and his pops did my body work before and they covered up the front emblem i'm gonna have him do the same thing with this and then what i'm also going to do is because in the middle the actual wing like if you ever seen the rs wing in the middle it's got these it's got these things these things right here in the middle and i don't like the way that looks i want like a completely flowing through uh wing i don't want these things holding it up in the middle so if there's any way we don't have to put these and start you know just have it open flow like i want dope um so that's gonna be uh, so it's gonna be the open middle I'm not putting those little tailwind things I'm gonna have them cover this up you know like it's out there it's gonna be the sides and the bottom that's gonna be the color of my car and then the top part of it i want it glossy black so that's gonna be happening um that'll probably take like maybe a week or so and then right here this motherfucker or it's really my amp, it's not my sub, but it went into protection mode. Um, I don't know why I haven't been able to get it out. It's happened to me before I was able to get it out because uh, I was playing my shit too loud. Um, I was, you know, in my bag, so I was playing music hella loud and the bass was hitting. Goes into protection mode to make sure it doesn't pop, clip, you know, does any real damage to the sub. It did it for no reason on a regular like a regular normal volume that I keep it on on the daily. It just went to protection mode, haven't got out since. So we're gonna go Friday to my spot, see if they could go ahead and help me out. But then what's also probably gonna happen, I'm shooting for Friday or maybe next week, this, I'm gonna get rid of everything under here. So because the sub is so heavy, to lift it up and show actually no not really if you can't see i got the spare tire and all this extra shit so what i'm gonna do is get a wood uh plywood uh like not, not not a crazy thick sheet pretty decent size use this the felt right here to cover as an outline to cut it out make sure it fits perfectly get it covered in um the black fabric felt whatever this is and then place it all the way down at the bottom and then this could just chill right on top of it because there is an indent for my spare tire so it's like a major weight reduction uh weight reduction and on top of it the main reason why is not even weight reduction is because every time i brake that happens every single time i brake um the momentum from the car and because this is kind of it's got like velcro under it so it's stuck to that that shit gets shoved forward so gave me on that part so that's going to be happening soon but the long term thing i mean i just bought some gauges gauge pod for the um driver's side i'm going to be buying a gauge pod
rod for the middle of the steering for the top of the steering wheel for the boost because I got a boost gauge um, oil temp coolant temp and uh, boost oil temp water temp damn I'm trying to remember what was the other one for air air to flow uh, air to fuel ratio so AFR boost oil temp water temp I did cop one of these um like I said I was gonna plan on recording all that but um wasn't in the mood um I know I gotta be more consistent and on top of it don't mind my hands are dirty a little bit maybe I just had to help my neighbor use my ladder to climb on his balcony um bought one of these it was like dropped the good you know 550 uh, for the simple fact that you know in order for me to later on down the road when i want to start tuning and having you know real fun and shit um you need one of these regardless like I, for these cars regardless you need one of these you know sucks but whatever um yes i already did put um a flash tune on it which is the most common flash tune around before you know you get before anybody does any real tuning with these cars what i noticed is just a stratified tune uh crackles and pops um it comes out really dope for the simple fact that i have a single custom exhaust three in four out um if you don't know the specs on it hks uh turbo muffler um so this shit is dope and the reason why they're like oh you might think like oh you got all the gauges you need right here right it is true i do have all my gauges set up but the thing is what i don't i don't want to keep i don't want to use that you know because i have a setup right here and i do have the wire ran behind all that you know there's youtube videos on that i don't need to record that um there's so many people who make them uh tutorials um so the thing is i bought the gauge pod for right here so there's three of them and it's going to be the afr water temp oil temp and then I'm gonna buy a custom gauge pod for this top black plastic piece in front of the steering wheel. And that's gonna be my boost gauge. Oh, why are you buying all these unnecessary gauges when even the car has a stock gauge? Those are, you know, whatever. You know, I like the, the digital look. So I actually know the exact number versus guesstimation. Obviously I've owned my car for about going on two and a half years. So I already know what's up on that, but I'm still gonna keep those. Those are not gonna get deleted because I still have my oil pressure. I'm gonna keep that. And oh, but you have digital gauges on there. You should be straight with that. You're right. But I wanna only have that for what it's needed, which is tuning purposes. I just bought, I just wanna use that for what it's supposed to be for tuning purposes and fucking with the computer. I want all these gauges so that that's, you know, my data, that's my, you know, this extra shit plugged in and plug it out and all this shit because. Like I said in the previous video, I don't live in the best area, you know, so it's not like I could just sit here and just leave my shit up all the time, you know, but or anywhere I go, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just don't you just, nowadays you don't trust nobody, but that's, you know, this is my vision, my look, my car. So a little explanation, but don't really care for anything else. But and then the other thing that has happened, I have changed out my spark plugs and my coilovers and there goes my phone this kept coming popping out once i after i did the tune this shit was popping popping off like all the time because i have felt a slight increase in horsepower and torque slightly so i had to put the second um clamp on it and we're good to go but i have the new msd red coil packs and under it I have the NGK code to start spark plugs. And other than that, that's really been the major changes and updates right now on the car. Got one off, one on. Oh, I gotta figure out whether it's the bulb or is it the connection. And then yeah, I'm supposed to have a cover, plastic cover, and then the mesh. I had both of them on, shits flew off. So I'm gonna, I found a pair on eBay for like 60 bucks both covers and the mesh that's i'm not really worried about that too soon because like i said at the end of the day this car will be getting wrapped i don't give a fuck but i am gonna have to sit here and figure out what the fuck is going on with this but 
what I'm gonna do back here. Look, so until I go ahead and start heading to my boy's shop to drop that shit off and talk to them about what I want to do, um, I'll keep recording throughout the let the next two weeks for updates and shit. Yo, bro, believe it or not, it's only five twelve. Uh, northeast shit, but get this nice cold stuff going. got fixed all I sat there and did was I took because I had taken um, the the fog lights that were in the Acura and I had put um, yellow ones in so I kept the old ones just in case because I mean if you know you know you never really truly supposed to get rid of any parts even if they still good you know you just don't do it so uh, they fit just perfectly so I got to save money and I have to do no extra bullshit but you see that's all set up right there like yeah I know I got you know AFR cooling tamp oil tamp and then I just added the estimated horsepower shit just to see how much I'm making on the street I've gotten as high as up to 220 but too cold but whatever one week later sheesh yeah I see that I wish the light could hit a little better but it came in D&D &D. carbon fiber leather steering wheel Let's see that. damn this shit sucks with low light a little bit eh but um, it finally came in. Um, I know I think I said in the last in the last clips, um, ordered it, but the one I was looking for was the older version without the red stitching up here, and the leather was slightly different, slightly. Um, but we got it. It's here. Um, I was able to use the same bolts from my last wheel, just transfer straight over. Um, and yeah, I mean that's the newest thing right now. We're gonna go ahead and head to the Home Depot. I'm finally gonna go ahead and get that, um, the wood cut out for the back so that I can get rid of all of that. So, because the sub keeps sliding that and it ends up here. So I'm just gonna straight up put, get rid of all that, the spare tire, everything under, that's like hard styrofoam. And we're gonna just put a wood plank. We're gonna just put like a, a nice good um, sheet of wood there and like that's it I'm gonna probably get it um, have them put fabric over it you know cover it staple it in just to make it look nice and then that's it also want to say happy new year um, if you uh, if this is your new year you know today like traditional um, most people happy new year hopefully have you had uh, just past Christmas if you celebrate Christmas Merry Christmas if you don't happy holidays hopefully everything is good uh, blessings to all just uh, sitting here talking, catching up with y'all real quick while letting the car warm up. Um, you know, have, hopefully everything was went good for y'all. Hopefully the new year brings in uh, plenty of more blessings and just a whole bunch of good shit. I'm trying to roll into this new year with nothing but positivity and just I'm just trying to like hit all my goals head on um, and, and as fast as hard as possible in terms of. Uh, life and with this car and this channel. So I mean I'm working on other stuff um, Gonna probably bring it into the channel just to see how it works. Yes, I know 
I don't I do have the horn piece and it's funny because I tagged D and D when I did when I did the I tagged them in it um, and they responded and they asked they're like yo do you have the horn piece and I'm like yeah I do but I don't prefer it on there for some reason I don't like it like maybe if I could get some other you know some other thing that says something else that's not as I would say chunky because like maybe something a little smaller something thinner I don't know like it's just I don't like the way it looks on there so I keep it on me just in case but it's just like whatever I mean I don't even have no horn anyway cut the wires in there but I need to get a small ass screw to get those bolts out so but yeah man I'm just sitting here I'm excited for the new year honestly like 2020 wasn't shit if y'all know you know 2020 wasn't shit it was horrible it sucked so I'll go ahead on and you know I just hope everybody um gets a good new year hopefully it's a, it, it could treat it like a reset in a way um like I definitely can't wait for all all the smaller pieces to go ahead and come together and I wanna see some funny shit. I don't know if y'all can I don't know if you could pick up the tire marks. Oh wait, wrong window. Yeah, I got tire marks because I decided to go ahead and dice. Nice little New Year celebratory. I'm gonna actually get that shit for the snap real quick. Perfect size, because um, then once I do the take the fabric out, pencil out, do the custom, um, like get the perfect outline done, then we're gonna be pretty much all set. I'll have to take it to a um, anywhere that any if I can get my hands on the tool it, myself, I will do it. But if I if not, then I'll have to um, take it to a wood cutting place for them to get it custom done and then if they could also like i'll try to shoot for the two for one the custom cutout and fabric done to it that'll be pretty much that'll be dope um but right now shit wrong lane wrong lane right now i'm about to go to best buy so i can buy uh the macbook because that's where i'm that's where i'm doing all of my edits and everything on and storage and you know shit like that um, I'm getting, uh, I need to get an external hard drive for it. I got one from my old computer, but because it was a PC, like a Windows, it's not compatible with the MacBook because it wasn't configured to that shit. So I can't, I could, I, I backed up a lot of stuff on it so I could, I could pull from it, but I can't like put anything to save towards it or whatever. And, you know, to be honest, I'm not going to get rid of it. I'm going to keep it, you know, just in case I do run into you know if i get another windows computer down the line or something or if i know somebody who has one and i can use it or whatever the case may be you know Ooh, is that a zoomy dog that a dummy probably nvidia exhaust but that shit sounds nice you know i love i love the way subi sound i just wish that i just wish they wasn't so unfucking reliable boom so we got that for the macbook just bought a set of these so i could take these little ass screws out on the inside of it annoying me and i bought a wood cutter because um trying to find a place that does um like custom wood cutting and fabric you know i guess for like interiors of cars um hard to come by um hard to find so what i'm gonna just do i'm gonna do it myself you know that's uh i think that's gonna be a nice little 2020 goal for me this is just try to be more independent on doing things in terms of my car and shit like that and i get to learn in the process but right now i just bought this nice little um uh thanks for closing the door wind um <laughs> i was so i don't know like a bolt hex nut fucking i don't know what the fuck these things names are called anymore a few minutes later those crazy though 
That's one. That's two. I got that shit coming in. That shit flew off on me. Let's see. So it's bigger than that, but it's smaller than this. What? Am I tweaking? No way. Oh, there we go. One long angry line later. I think this shit is officially stripped. I give up. <laughs> you know what? My forearms are tired. I give up. I thought that shit would have been easy because it should be easy, but fuck it. So, gonna go ahead and head back to the crib, start the outlining process, and uh, possibly cutting today of uh, the wood in the back. So, the GoPro is gonna die, but um, let me show you where I'm at with it real quick. Let me go ahead and pull up uh, uh, the camera on my light. I mean, so that's out. And about after, I'm gonna say a good maybe hour, hour and a half of cutting, all on my own, no help, no guidance. It fits in perfectly. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna remove everything under the tire, everything, the whole nine. And then I'm gonna get back to you and show you what that looks like. Let's see. Oh man. Whoo! That shit looks clean, bro. Fucking. Fucking mint. So, um, obviously, I'm gonna leave it like this, but this is not gonna be the final product. It's I'm gonna clean up the edges, smoothing it out, sand it down. You know, shit like that. And then we're going to put um, the nice little felt. I'm going to go ahead and do everything myself. Um, fuck it. Like I said, best 2021 goal is to do everything. Um, dominantly everything on my own. But this is this actually came out exactly the way I imagined it. So I can't be any more happier, to be honest. So anyways, catch you on the next one. See you.